Okay. We're doing this. I am fucking sick of this game. Alright, let's go. <sighs> okay. New run. Do do. I am getting tilted. You are not wrong. But that's why I reset, because it puts me in a good mood. sucked. Okay. This might not be the day for this, really. But, like, I mean, you know... People, people say I'm good at the game, so I should try to finish a run and get better at it. Okay, try not to worry about that. Let's just keep going. Okay. That's attempt for now. I don't think I can really handle any more resets at this point, because my patience, obviously, if it wasn't obvious from my annoyance at myself and frustration, is kind of low now. <laughs> so, just laugh it off. Nice diagonal shots. I swear I know what I'm doing. Perfect. I don't know if I'll do a casual stream, honestly. We'll see. I, I want to start playing Nier Automata today, but... Since I finished Ratchet yesterday, which by the way is a very good game. I recommend everyone play it if you have a PS4. But Nier Automata is like the game that everyone hypes up like crazy. I've never really seen much of it, so... Hopefully be pleasantly surprised. Hey, that room actually went well for once. <laughs> okay. Die, bat. Die. I wish there was like a hacking tool to like put a bazillion bats in one room and then just kill all of them with a power bomb, because that would be one of the most satisfying things to ever do in this game. Not even kidding. That would I think that would be more easily be more satisfying than finishing. Finishing a single segment, minimal items run, without dying a single time. I'm not even kidding. I never played a new South Park for PlayStation 4. I didn't know there was a South Park game, though that doesn't surprise me. And I don't think, I'm, I, don't think I would really be interested in it, TBH. I'm pretty sure the loud header is possible. Okay, fair enough. You know what I mean, though. 
that just goes to show how much I hate the blue bats in this game. Like, they're, they're still a complete pain in the butt in late game, even after you get, like, Plasma Beam and Screw Attack and all those goodies. They're still kind of a complete pain in the ass. Though less so than early game, but still a pain. Yeah, I, I believe I'm um, see Scotty said that in, in the r room with the heated fire gamma in area three, you have to kill yourself to lo reload a checkpoint. That sucks. I was talking, so I forgot to jump there. Um, okay. This is fantastic. Okay, I didn't really lose that much time, really. It just looked really ugly. But okay, I messed something up that I shouldn't mess up. Okay. I was never never really a South Park fan. I mean, there's there some gifts that I thought were really amusing and stuff, but it's not really my thing. That's just me, though. Okay. Cheat balls! Cheat balls! WJG. How suicidal. Uh, runs are not going very well today. This is probably the last run I'll do because I've been doing, going at like an hour and a half of attempts without getting a single run going. But hopefully this will be a run I finish. If not, well, that's just life. Yeah, suicidal. Hopefully I'll finish this run. <laughs> Given how runs have been going today. Oh. I don't know why I don't unmorph there. Like, goodness. I d don't know. I do the same thing every time, but only in runs I don't unmorph. I don't know why. It's so stupid. <sighs> okay, well, at least I, re I did the re backup strat pretty quickly. So, whatever. It's not a big deal. Let's keep going. Well, that was incredibly sloppy. Okay. I figured. That, that jump into spider was clean, so that was good. Fortunately, I'm low on health, but that doesn't matter because I'm about to get an energy tank, so it's fine. This is fine. And that could have been better. I would like three missiles, so that wasn't a very good fight. Oh well. Got a good. I got a double missile prop, which is nice. So, can't really complain about that. This is fine. Um, uh, okay. Somehow every ice beam shot missed that stupid toad enemy, but. Alright. Alright. You do you, game. Or rather, me for my lack of mashing skills. I need to figure out how to do a backup strat, proper backup strat there if I don't shoot out the block. Okay. I completely improv that and that somehow worked out. I'll cancel this. Should be it. Good fight. KPX. Full HP. It's probably not gonna stay, stay that way. <laughs> TPH. Oh, well, uh, okay, I sniped that stupid bat from water across the room with an ice beam. Not complaining. 
I was supposed to make that crab enemy go back down, but somehow didn't. Low percent is zero percent. If you're talking about mineral items, you are six. You can also do zero percent with skip, six skippable items. That's because uh, major upgrades in this game do not count towards the percentage counter. My stream title says it's any percent, right? Ah, dang it. Ah, I missed a snipe. I don't recommend saying fusion percent even as a joke, because fusion mode is a difficulty mode. Like, it is actually a difficulty mode, fusion difficulty. So, <laughs> fusion percent will probably confuse people. Okay. Well, eh. The Metroid fights were. All, the first three Metroid fights are really, really good. This one was really terrible, but. Eh. Not, it's not all gonna be perfect, so. Oops. Wow, I I got sent flying back down from that stupid bullshit bat. Zero percent is not that difficult in the game, honestly. Like it is not that bad. People like think it's impossible to do a single segment, which, as far as I know, hasn't been done yet. But that's because nobody has really done it seriously. But like, when after I learned it, I mean, I, I haven't finished a run because I've only done one run. But like, it really is not that bad compared to. Other Metroid games, really. Because like, it's really just a map. Because, like, I mean, obviously, if you try to go for 0% without, like, ever practicing or learning the fights properly, then yes, of course, it's going to be very difficult. But like, I already knew all the fights going into learning 0%, and quite frankly, most of them are pretty much the same as any percent, honestly. So... It's really not that bad, relatively speaking. I really, like, I really don't think this game has anything compared to like, 0 mission, low percent for example. Or Super Metroids. Fusion 0%. It's hard for me to compare because like I already used to speedrun fusion, so and all the bosses are like relatively easy for me to know. So I'm not sure. I'd probably say this I'd probably say fusion low percent is like easier than low zero percent of this game, but I don't I'm not qual I'm not, I'm not the person to really ask about that. I feel like. Not yet at least. Okay, I appreciate the game mean eating my morph input there. Okay. Well, this run is complete shit. Okay. Full on missiles at least. Good fight. Got it. People tend to uh, uh, like underestimate certain bosses for fusion low percent. Like, like Yakuza. Like people complain about Nightmare all the time. Which, yes, if you're not familiar with Nightmare, he, he's probably one of the most hardest, difficult bosses. But like. If you're familiar with his patterns, then he's not really... He is one of the harder bosses, for sure, but, like... Like, I would argue, like, for a typical speedrun, Mega X and Yakuza are worse. Oh, thanks. I appreciate the drops, game. I really appreciate those drops.
Um, yeah, if you freeze an Alpha Metroid, it makes it makes it guarantee that they cannot do their elemental tackles, whether it's a fire or electric tackle. Because when they try to do a fire or electric tackle, you cannot counter those. It's, much, it's really difficult to try to hit them while they do those attacks, so you always want to freeze them to guarantee, make it guarantee that they won't do those attacks. There we go. That's what that's supposed to look like. I'll counter this. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Your Gamma Metroids, you freeze them for a different reason. Because when the moment you freeze a Gamma Metroid, they will, want, they will always fall, and then they will always try to bite you, which you can counter. And so it's, a, it's more, that's like more of a thing for consistency, really. I could have squeezed him. Yeah, that was really close. I mean, if it if I was like two miss if I were like two, up to two missiles short, I would have probably still have been able to get it while it retreats. But yeah. No draw from there. Okay. At least I'm still full of health, so whatever. <laughs> Nightmare is even that bad in terms of how much damage it does, honestly. Because, like, I mean, Nightmare will only two shot. Like, there's no attack that Nightmare has that will kill you in one hit. Simply put. You can actually take three hits from Nightmare, I believe. That's depending on where you get hit. Like, if you touch his back, it does a lot more damage. If you touch his back once, then you will get two hit KO'd. But if you don't touch his back ever, then I think it's a three hit KO. I don't remember off the top of my head. But there really aren't that many enemies that do, like, well, up to 100 damage, really. In Fusion. What is there? SAX and Omega Metroid. Um, Yakuza does have an attack that does like over 100 damage, but that's only like the body slam attack. I think I got an energy pull shot. I did. Oh, I didn't, but whatever. That was still good. Key Hunters do, I think, 127 damage with Faria suits. They do less with Gravity Suit. Don't remember off the top of my head. Dragon Dodge knows all the numbers, really. Oh, their Stingers are like 120. It's not exactly 100. They suck, regardless. This area 2 has gone pretty decently, not amazing, but not that bad. So, it's kind of cruising along. Okay. Full HP. I don't like how much Aeon I have, to be honest. But I get a good chunk from that. Good. That was all pretty good. Very smooth. Okay. Ugh. 
Ah, <sighs> okay. I haven't had this much trouble in a while. Oh, what? Really? Well, that sucked. I just lost like a minute. Just skip, that's not even that difficult. I lost all the time I would have saved on Supreme Boss Kid. God damn it. That was what? Probably like. 30 to 40 seconds or something. Okay. I don't know if I'll continue this run. This run's complete trash. Trash. I'll keep going for now, I guess. Um, I didn't mean to cancel that, but finish it. Okay. Good enough. My PB got it first right immediately, so like I'm gonna be way behind, assuming the rest of the segment goes average. Which sucks, because this segment was actually going pretty well up to a spring ball skip. Oh well. enough. I think whether this run finishes or not, I need to sit down and not do any more runs until I properly time Spring Ball Skip. See if it's actually worth it or not. Because the more I look at the Area 5 and 6 tunnels, like tunnel areas, the more, like, you just lose so much time from some of the puzzles you have to go through with lack of Spring Ball. Like, not, like, by so much, I mean, like, probably up to, like, 10 seconds or something, but, like, all that time adds up all over the place. So, I have to see how that works. Of course, that bat was incredibly low for some f whatever fucking reason it felt like to the point where it was flat out impossible for me to hit it with Ice Beam with the horizontal shot and that has never happened before what a fantastic fucking game you fucking piece of bad bullshit alright then let's do this, area 3 time alright I just had to get that out of my system I was pissed off I apologize for the cursing but after I got that out of my system, I'm doing much better now, so... Okay.
It's nice to actually get past like area one for once. That's trap properly at least. I did not make the ledge grab there. Rip like a half second or something. I should put that command up again. I need to cut down on my cursing again. It's gotten a lot worse recently. I've been a lot worse about my negativity and stuff this past year. Cause like my mindset's like, oh, Kirby's playing Metroid again. Hype, hype, hype. He's gonna be amazing at the game. Not totally no pressure at all. Which I really shouldn't try to get that, to let that get to me, honestly. But it does. Not something I need to work on. So. Uh, wrong ability. That kind of sucks. Rip Aeon that I kind of desperately need. That climb was very good. Fall. There's a tiny little optimization I do there to like try not to clip a ledge on accident while falling that kills all my fall speed. I decided not to go for Khan unless I wanted to play it safe. Make sure I get the one round. for to waste. Okay. Oh goodness, that sucks so much. That is really bad. I wasted so much Aeon there. Where 
ready. Okay. Ah, missed it. Okay, we that, I guess. Oh, sh what are hitboxes? Should be good. Okay. Good enough fight. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. That was incredibly sloppy. I just lost like a second there. Oh well. Whatever. Hey, that actually cooperate. That stupid bat cooperated with me for once. Um, ice beam, missiles, beam burst, let's go. Um. Might as well. I want ice beam equipped. Easy, free amorphic extend right there, save a bit of time. That, I love doing that so much. Grapple, grapple, and in the middle, do a melee attack to get some drops. It's so sick. Love doing that so much. This is not a retreating gamma, so... I got an energy ball shot there. If I didn't, it wouldn't have turned orange immediately. So I just went all out there and it worked out. So that was a very good fight. So if you shoot your char charge ice beam through one of the electric balls that a gamma drops, and also hit the gamma with that same shot, that your shot is powered up and does a lot extra damage. I d you didn't see the energy ball, but what I must have ha what happened is that I hit it, my fire ice beam pretty much just hit it the energy ball just as it spawned before I even saw it. So I got lucky there. It's probably where the health drop, but oh well. It does stack for energy ball hit, so you can t you can just kill a Gamma Metroid in just flat out one shot. If you fire it through like three electric balls or something, but like... It's hard enough to shoot it through one, let alone three. Which is... And some people did have encountered it on accident. Oh, I killed a Gamma Metroid in one hit somehow. It also works on Alpha Metroids, but like it's not something you want to try to rely on anyway. It's like it's just not a good idea to try to rely on it. So... Good. Ah, bummer. No spring ball makes that. You lose like a bit of time there from not having spring ball. Okay. Alright, about one third of the way through the run. No spring ball feels bad, man. Thought it just a tank back because I had enough Aeon.
about it. I had so much health there that I was perfectly okay with going for counterless. So I was able to do YOLO that and save a bit of time. This Area 3 actually has been going pretty well, to be honest. Like, this has been a pretty solid Area 3. Which is the most punishing area in the game, so... Can't really be too disappointed with it. I'm doing really pretty well on health too. Which I really want because I'm about to I'm gonna take take a lot of bath soon. Save time. Got it. Ah, unlucky. Very unlucky. Got it. That was... I mean, I, I executed pretty, that pretty well. It was just a really unlucky fight. Like, it did not give me a single un normal charge attack. Like, it did not give me a single counterable attack, so that was just really bad luck. I did fine for what it was, though. Like, what I, for what I was given, though. So... Grip this run. Well, I mean, the two most punishing fights in the game are coming up soon. One of which is this room. So, the run could be over right here. Like, it's very easy to die against this game. Although, I was at full HP when I entered this room, so it should, I should be able to YOLO this a bit more. Yeah, I'm actually not really confident on Spring Ball skipping faster, honestly. Like, I mean, it's definitely not faster if you don't get it within, like, like two or three tries. Okay, that should be good. Really? How did I miss? Okay, phew! That would that would have been a complete disaster if I missed that last ice cream shot. Like if the gamma metric falls down without me freezing it, that's run over basically. I just I would lose like at least 30, 40 seconds right there. Because you cannot do consistent damage to it when it's grounded, unfrozen. So that I almost lost the run right there. I honestly really hope Power Bomb Skip is not really going to be a thing in the runs, honestly. I would hate for that to be a thing. Because <laughs> screw, screw... Screw Spider Clip so much. Like, I would just flat out not do it. I'm... I would just flat out not, not run the game anymore. Like, that would just kill the run for me. Because they're just so stupid to do. I mean, if there was a consistent way to do them, then sure, that I'll be cool with that, but... Um. Should be good. This Gamma Metroid is also the other main run big run killer in Area 3. Because it's a Fire Gamma, so it takes 5 extra missiles to kill. Which is why I don't freeze it immediately. And it's a retreating gamma, so if I mess up the one round, then that is pretty much run over. Because it will retreat and I lose it over a minute. So. But, two run kill- them two biggest run killers in the game are out of the way now, so. It's nice. Really? That wall blocks? That little wall there apparently blocks you. Interesting. I mean, that's stupid, but also interesting.
good enough. That, that was cutting it cl unnecessarily close there. I need to practice that fight again. Yeah, like zero missiles, I know, right? <laughs> I was cutting it a little bit close there. Like, if you've been paying attention to what the missile tanks I've been getting, I've gotten, like, only two or three, I think. The three being the ones that are basically exactly in your way. Not even like a three or four second detour. Actually, no, I got four. This is the fifth and last missile tank I'm gonna get, cause like, like it's 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 a one second time loss really for in-game time, and you might as well get it, cause you have to wait for that door right there to open. So it's like, you might as well get it for now. That one. So. This Area 3 was pretty solid all around. I'm very happy with how this went. Area 2 was a complete trash, but Area 3 went very well, so... As you can tell by that score. Although I did cut out a few extra expansions, so a lot, of, some of that real, a good chunk of that real time is not time saving in game time. Strictly speaking. Where am I going? I'm not supposed to go this way. Crap. Completely mixed that up. I was mixing up 100% strats. Well, there goes the time loss. I'm not doing the missile snipe because it's stupid and only saves 3 seconds if you get a first try. Because you can shoot out the missile block from the wrong side with a really tight angle. But like it's not really that much of a time saver, it's like around 3 seconds if you get a first try. Which usually you're not going to get. So I'm just not doing it. I would do it in Marathon because it looks cool, but not in a serious PB attempt. The nice thing about any percent is that you're completely full on Aeon here, whereas in 100% you're, you're pretty much out of Aeon, so... It's very, so this part's like significantly easier in any percent. Ah, that sucks. I take like two seconds to kill that stupid snail because it does a lot of damage to you, and you it take, it sucks away like half your Aeon if you touch it with lightning armor, and you have to pass through that spot twice in a row anyway. So I think it's just, you're, I'm just better off just killing it. I think it's, be, it's better for like the time and Aeon management. It's more for Aeon management, really, especially in any percent. Where you're not gonna get an Aeon refill, unlike 100% where you you get an Aeon tank, which is basically a refill. But time for the part that sucks because no spring ball. Oh, I got that jump. Okay, nice. It's, it's kind of sucks that to go through everyone quickly, you have to be able to mash really fast. I didn't really time it, but it's like... The only real reason to get an Aeon tank is for the refill, and like if you're doing pretty well on Aeon there, you, there's, you, you just you know. Especially since you can get Aeon pretty quickly anyways from the swarms nearby. Wow, that's... I actually got that snipe. That snipe was very difficult to get. I'll go for it. 
counterless. Bonus, the game warped me a little bit closer to where I need to go, so that's nice. Can I play this on PC? No. Unless you use emulator, but emulator is um, not very good for the 3DS. And this is not the place to ask for ROMs, so if you're here only to ask that, then you don't, yeah, you probably, this isn't really the place to ask. Congrats on passing Area 3, thank you, Doisum. I appreciate the support. In terms of negativity, I'm doing a lot better now, really. Like once, like once I got past Area 2, I'm doing much better now, so. Like, I know that I'm pretty much definitely gonna finish this run no matter what happens, so. Pro well, probably. <laughs> um, that, that's ready to go. Yeah, this game is for the, for the 3DS, so if you don't have a 3DS, there's currently no legal way to play it, currently. Okay, no matter what happens, might be a bit of a stretch. You're right, BX. <laughs> Yay for basically a free E-Tank. Thank goodness for that energy tank, seriously. if we heard that burp or not. So, at, well, after the, po the point where after I get space where super missiles is kind of a sketchy part of the, part of the run. Because it's pretty easy to die, and your Aeon is really low, and you have to fight a Zeta Metroid right after that, so... It's another kind of a considerable run killer. So not as bad as Area 3, but... It's, it's, it's still a scary spot. Yes, I know. Nintendo World Championship hype. The lack of spring ball really hurts, by the way. Like you lose like up to like, I think like ten seconds with no spring ball in this chase. Which I mean, it doesn't sound like that much time, but if you think about it, if you have a, quite a few spots where it's, you lose like ten seconds in a lot of spaces, spots, then it adds up. You would take the top path there if you have Spring Ball. It's significant. It's like quite a bit faster, like okay, a few seconds. Ah, dang it. You would Spring Ball there too. It's a bit faster. I haven't finished. I need to really actually sit down and time Spring Ball. Skip. See if it's worth it or not. Because I think people just kind of assume it's faster, which it, I think it probably is, but... I don't know. I only timed it to like Area 4, I think. And it used lose like 25 seconds up to that point not having spring ball from what i remember could be remembering wrong i have notes somewhere about it and spring ball is about a one minute detour it's, it's about a um what is it um it's like a 120 detour from when i went and timed it but back when i timed it i was much worse at the game so it's prop so realistically speaking with how much better i am at the game than back then it's probably more like 1 minute 10 seconds now, or something like that. And then you have to take into account how long it takes to do Spring Ball Skip itself, which in this run took like 30 seconds. So... Like, if it saves time, it's not good much at all, really. Yeah, Lightning Armor. 
24 points. Thank you. Nintendo World Champion! Drops. I appreciate a game. Love you. A little bit of grinding here to get to fill up on health and Aeon, and hopefully get a super missile drop, which I did because I really want super missiles. Is that a fight coming up? Being full on health is makes me very comfortable here, so that's very nice. I'm, I am taking this more safely than I really should, honestly, but like. If you go into this edifice unprepared, you are probably going to die and or lose a crap ton of time. Well, unfortunately, I have two supers now. Alright, well, I can, I can make this work. Considering I only came into the fight with two supers, this was not too bad of a fight. You can generally two. A standard fight is around you kill it within two attacks, but you, that's not generally not realistic with only two supers. You need like four or five supers to do that reliably. So, given that I only had two supers, that was fine really. So I'm okay with that fight. You missed the first hour. D you mean you missed? Over an hour, like an hour and a half of just me resetting and being pissed at myself. So you probably didn't want to see that. No one does, myself included. This room is complete fucking pain in the ass without Spring Ball. Like, you lose so much time out having Spring Ball right there. Like, you have- I mean, okay. You can technically just do a high jump into Morph Ball, and then just... Sp Spider Ball, but that's harder to do than it sounds. Like, Spring Ball makes it so much more consistent, but if you mess that up... Whoa. You just saw what happened if you mess it up. You lose a lot of time and Aeon. So, yeah, it, it just sucks when that happens. The end of the world because you get a reasonable amount of drops there, but yeah, no spring ball there feels bad, man. Nice beam. I want spurs. Yeah. 
That poor Alpha Metroid. That poor, poor Alpha Metroid. You get kind of used to using the touchscreen for morphing. I mean, it's not ideal. They really should have just used the A button for morph and then the D pad for toggling instead of s selecting the Aeon power, but that would have been so much better. I don't know what they were thinking, but it's still manageable. I mean, if you think it's finicky, well, say, say that in front of me, who's the person currently speedrunning this. <laughs> there have been a few times where the game kind of ate my inputs when morphing, but it's not like the end of the world. Mm, yes, it kind Okay, Taurus. The thing is, it's con much more consistent. And... Wow, I'm losing so much time. And the thing is, like, if you try to kill the Alpha without countering with supers, it bounces around a lot more. It's actually kind of difficult to do. I don't know. I haven't really figured out the best strat for that Alpha without a counter. Counterless would be ideal, but it's not as easy as it sounds, because it's kind of like flying all over the place. So... Oh, I had Grapple Beam equipped for some reason. You can disable all Aeon powers by holding A? I did not know that. Interesting. That's interesting. I never actually tried like holding A, so I did not know that at all. TBH. That was good. That was very good. Didn't use much, too much Aeon. So, I have plenty of spare and I got Super Missile Drops when I need them. Not a Super Drop. Thank you, game. Seems like if you're full on health and missiles, you pretty much get not saw Super Missile Drops, which is why it's very you really want Lightning Armor on. Oh wow, I actually didn't get hit there. That bat always snipes me somewhere. Good enough. Good enough! I was too scared to waste supers on it, but it was kind of whatever. It's fine to go all out with your Aeon, because you always get some kind of Aeon refill after that Alpha, and then from that Swarm right there. So, it's like kind of whatever. Speaking of phase drift. Yeah, like, to see, there's no reason to worry about Aeon running out at all in that segment, so it's like, you can just go all out on that poor, poor Alpha Metroid. I agree, Space Jump looks kind of weird. I mean, it looks fine if you have Screw Attack, or are you using, or have your Beam Charge, I think it looks fine there, but like, it does look kind of wonky. I guess, because it's just, I'm just too used to seeing the Space Jump animation from like, the other 2D Metroids. Like, proper animation. Kinda get used to it. No spring ball feels bad, man. 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 Every time I said that, that is time lost and no spring ball. FYI. Not much, but it adds up. I haven't timed that room yet, though. Oops. Oh god, that's not good. Oh, phew, okay. 
Yeah, to get Spring Ball, it takes about one minute. Like a minute, minute 10 seconds. My t proper timing was minute 20 seconds, but that's back when I sucked at the Arachnus fight. I didn't suck, but I, I'm better at the, I'm a lot better at it now than back when I timed it. So realistically speaking, while I haven't retimed it, it's probably more like one minute, 10 seconds. And if you want to try to do an HBJ to get to Arachnus quickly, it's probably like about a minute or less. Because the HBJ that C. Scotty came up with saves a good chunk of time going to, when getting Spring Ball. <laughs> feels bad, man. I know, this run feels bad. <laughs> that's, that's the thing, we don't know how much time Spring Ball saves. I think people just assume it's faster, and I think it would be faster to skip Spring Ball ultimately, but not by much at all, really. So, I don't know. I only timed it up to like Area 4, and I need to finish timing it. I'm just lazy. It's easy to get burned out when you're the only person who actually times stuff. The only timing that someone else did, besides me, was when someone was timing Spider Ball versus Single Ball Jump. So I don't know. It's probably faster, but I don't know. If it's faster, it's not by much at all. Okay. This game is not in AGDQ, nor should it. It's This game came out during the week of submissions. And if you think about it, the submission period was delayed a week because of Hurricane Harvey, so if it weren't for that delay, this game would not have been able to be submitted in the first place. Are you trying next run? Maybe how about I actually time it before I do another any percent run? Like, it's kind of an excuse for me to do 0% and 100% because I'm too lazy. I'm way too lazy to time Spring Ball, so it's like, oh, I'm too lazy to time Spring Ball. So I'm just gonna do categories where I either have to get it or don't have to get it because I'm way too lazy to time it. That's not a good mindset to have, by the way. It, you know, this game really should not have been an agent queue. It's way too soon for it. Like, it's just incredible. Way, 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 way too soon for it. Like, the estimate... Okay, here's the thing. The estimate that was given for Samus Returns at the time it was submitted to AGDQ was 2 hours 40 minutes. Look at my time right now. Just look at it. I've beaten that estimate by an hour with a really bad run. This run, my PB is terrible. So, no. It really is not... I mean, sure, I think some people can be too picky about, oh, this game is too new, it shouldn't get in, but like... This is the game that really just flat out should not be offered. Like, this is definitely a good example of a game that's too new to be offered. Like, I beat it by an hour. It's not even due to skips. It's just being better at the game. That's it. There were no real skips found that saves that an hour of time. Spring Ball skip, sure, but that's not an hour of time at all. So... And that, that's kind of... I think that's kind of a massive red flag that it's way too early for a game to be offered. Breath of the Wild is different, because Breath of the Wild is less than an hour long, in the first place. This game is not. So, I, I like, Breath of the Wild, I feel like it's kind of a different story. Okay. Okay, this should be a one round. one round. Yep. Yeah, breath, that's because Breath of the Wild any percent is really silly. Because it's any percent. You kind of just go straight to the last boss after Plateau. So... Fight. I think Sam's Returns made top 10 in America from what I remember. I read an article about it a few days ago. Which, so like, I think it was like just barely, like, I think it barely beat like Ra Raving Rapid or something like that. So like, 
I think it's respectable. It's not. It didn't sell amazingly, but it's respectable. So it's not too bad at all. Also, yay, super missile drop. So hopefully that that's good enough to keep making more 2D Metroids. Side scroller, fair, yeah. <laughs> Side scrolling Metroid game. Oh, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I don't care about my health right now, so I'm gonna try to conserve a bit of Aeon. Okay. Give me that Aeon, because I need it. Yay, super missile drop. Okay, not 100%. Not 100%. Thank you. Thank you. This is not 100%. <laughs> I forgot to shoot that bug. Oh, uh, that sucks. Didn't take any damage though, so not a big deal as long as I don't take damage because refill. Okay. You bounce off enemies with screw attack that you don't one shot with screw attack, and I think that makes sense. It'll be a little OP if screw attack was one shot at everything, even though it doesn't feel quite right. But it's fine. Nope, missed. Ah, dang it. Yeah, well, at least I got it. That kind of sucks, though. Yeah, that wasn't a very good fight. I just. Took a while to freeze it down. Oh well, this area fight went alright. It wasn't amazing. Few dumb mistakes, but well. Whatever. Okay. Lightning armor, plasma beam. It does not always one shot everything. It does not one shot everything in Metro Prime 2 or 3. It doesn't one-shot everything in, um... It doesn't one-shot the bosses you fight either. So... Slightly a different story. 
Um, I, I swear, there's a few enemies you can't one-shot in Zero Mission with Screw Attack. Yeah, you can't. You can't one-shot Black Pirates in Zero Mission. Oh, uh, Fusion, you one, you do one-shot everything besides the last bosses. Yeah, if anything, Screw Attack, even though Screw Attack doesn't one-shot so <laughs> normal enemies in Prime 2 and 3, it's even, it's arguably more broken than the 2D games, to be honest. I mean, like, the idea, uh, I, I feel like the idea of a screw attack is that it does a lot of damage. And it will, you'll just go through enemies that die to, will die to it. That's how I see it. But, like, if an enemy doesn't die to it, you'll bounce off of it instead. Most enemies. What I do get kind of annoying to about is the fact that... I do kind of... Oh, hold on, I need to concentrate on this. To the elevator. That sucked. Oh well. What I do get kind of bothered about is the fact that, um... Dang it. You lose a good chunk of time with a spring ball there either. Is the fact that, like, there are some enemies that you will just outright take damage on without doing anything to them. While you screw attack it to them. A few enemies. Um... The silver turrets, they damage you, which is really stupid. And the silver robots. Both of those enemies, you cannot. Do, the only way to damage them is with beam bursts or power bombs, which I think is incredibly silly. Especially given how much beam bursts you have to do to kill them. Like you have to use up pretty much like two thirds of your Aeon meter to kill one of them. It's really stupid. I think that's a really terrible enemy design. Why does it bounce off these generic dropper enemies? Because it doesn't do enough damage. I just see it as you, and you you do just walk through a lot of enemies. Honestly. It's, screw attack is stronger than you think, to be honest. It, it's a lot stronger than you think. The purple bats you would just go through with screw attack. Like, the electric bats that you don't screw attack through, if you just shoot them once, you'll screw attack through them, because, like, screw attack is actually very powerful. Yeah, I figured. That was poor Aeon management on my part, so... Um, this way. That sucked. Base phase drift, so. Okay. Come on, bites. That's super mess, but it should still die here. This, this area 6 was pretty bad. Just poor Aeon management. Lost me a lot of time. Well, oh well. That's life. Thank you. 
that that time that was not a very good split, honestly. I could have saved like 10 to 20 seconds, but oh well. I want normal missiles. No spring ball, feels bad man, no spring ball, feels bad man. I use face rift right there to guarantee I can get out of there before the bomb block respawns. You can make it without spring face rift, but like you might as well make it more reliable with I use face rift for a quick second. Not amazing, but it's good enough. Yeah, Omega Metroids are really fun to fight. I mean, like, it's like the tier of Metroids goes from like Alpha, Alphas, Alpha, Gamma, Zeta, Omega, and then the Queen. And like, my favorite fights in the game are, go from like Queen to Queens to um, it pretty much goes the opposite way. The Queen is my favorite fight in the game. Um, then Omega fights, Omega Metroids. Then Zetas, then Gammas, then Alphas. But I mean, they're all fun to fight. So. I'm fine with the number of Omegas in this game, really. I think we could have used another Zeta or two. Um, this game did add one extra Zeta compared to the original game, but I think the number of Omegas was fine. Like, Omega, like Omegas are the most advanced Metroids. There should not be like so many of them, honestly. And four Omegas is good. Is enough IMO. Sure you go in the correct direction this time. <laughs> I did a couple more coins. Yeah, that's because there were only four gammas in the, in the original game, from what I remember. I think there were only three Zetas in the original Metroid 2 game. Don't quite remember off the top of my head. Yeah, this game is very normal. Nothing of interest.
Uh, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna bomb it. You, it's a little faster to get inhaled. Just skip this animation if it does the inhale attack first. But that's, but it's, it's only really safe to do it if you're full on Aeon, so you can beam burst it to death. But I don't have that much Aeon, relatively speaking, so I'm gonna play it safe. If it does this, and it's safe to get inhaled because even though it's 300 damage, you pretty much get a free health refill from this attack. So. Super ready. I thought it was the first phase attack for some reason. The thing I realized. Ah, fuck you. I just lost. I just lost a chunk of time for no reason. Whether it does a third attack or not is random. If it does a third attack, you just lost a good chunk of time. Good luck. I think it, it does it more often than not. It's relatively rare for me to see it not do a third attack. It's really stupid. But the worst pattern is if it does laser pound laser, because laser takes longer. And it sucks. Alright, let's go. Okay. Good. It's a pretty boring boss, all things considered. The only interesting thing about the boss is the la is the one cycle at the end. Otherwise, it's pretty much a timed boss that you can't really speed up, like, at all. Oh, I got a power bomb drop. That's actually very nice. Got Aeon. I want it. Shoot that little enemy there so I can screw attack through it. Like that. Right, let's do this. Okay, cool. That jump is really annoying to do because of that silver robot. Like, you can't tank it with lightning armor. That silver robot is like the anti Ann robot. It's really stupid. Unfortunately, this is any percent, so we're not going to see very many power bomb sparks, or spider sparks in this run, which is why 100% is a cooler category. Because 100% is all about all the spi sexy spider sparks all over the place. But, unfortunately, you don't. But I want to use that. Yeah, I did get a drop, so it's, it's safe for me to use that. Okay. I really want to get power bomb drops. I have two. Um. Nope. None. That kind of sucks. Oh well. I don't know if I should have countered that. But, yeah, I'm, okay, I, I'm glad I did counter that. I just didn't do enough damage. Should be dead soon. There we go. I sh don't know if I should have used Beam Burst. I don't know how much Aeon I have to conserve because conserve, I'm not used to any percent. I need a lot of Aeon for 100% if I don't get drops, which unfortunately I didn't get any here, but... Yeah, that, that, that just sucks. I'm gonna lose a chunk of time from no power bombs here. They can't spark across. Oh. 
got one drop somewhere, but I need a refill anyways. Two soup sets of super drops, that's very good. I need all the super drops I can get. Because the last Omega coming up is a, is a red Omega, so it has a lot more health than the other ones I've been fighting. So I really want to get power bomb um, super drops. I only have four, which kind of sucks. Okay, good. Use the one power bomb, but that's I think that's worth it. TBH. Okay. Are you first? Ah, damn it. I should have gone for that. I should have tanked it. I should have tanked it. I could have finished with one ice beam shot. Charge ice beam. I could have tanked that. Oh, that was a bad decision on my part. I should have just tanked it and finished it off. I wasn't entirely sure how close it was to dead. Ugh, I lost a lot of time for no good reason there. That sucks. I'm. That was really bad. <sighs> well, evidently, I need to practice so I have a better idea of how much health it has left. Really bad. I want to be hard on myself, but I shouldn't. Try not to. <sighs> Alright. Let's go. Yeah, you have no idea how hard it is to not be negative on myself. <laughs> this run isn't that bad. I mean, Area 2 was completely trash. Like, that's just... Th that Area 2 was terrible in this run, but like, otherwise, this run actually hasn't been too bad. So, can't really complain too much. I mean, I can, but... Technically speaking, but... Yeah. Uh, what do I need equipped? Uh... That supers... Please make it. Okay, cool. Ah. Okay, phew. I wasn't sure if I would have been able to finish that spiked enemy there, but I did, so. Thank you for the host, our acrylic kiss.
Left side. Stay left. Good. That was clean. Okay. End game. Ah, uh, that is not good. Ah. Uh, okay. There's a swarm coming up. Okay. That, that's helpful. Yeah, I figured. This has been really sloppy. You don't get- I mean, here's the thing. Area 5 isn't considered that early, really, by what- by the original game standards. It's definitely different from what- from other Metroid games, but... Yeah. Area 5 is kind of late game, to be honest. Like, a area 6 is pretty- qu is pretty quick. Because it relatively is a short area. So... Area 7 is also kind of short. Remember when you get plasma? You get plasma beam in the second to last huge area. Last major area comes up being lower warfare. Which I think is reasonable. Similar to this game. We get, get this two two areas before. Two, two areas before endgame. Those two areas being very short areas anyways. So that's actually kind of similar. The original game you got you get plasma beam very early. So. I mean, well, okay. In the original game, plasma the beams were like option beams. You don't like they don't stack. So you have to like pick a beam, like in an over NES Metroid as well. So this is different, really. Um. I'll ignore that one. Okay, let's go. Queen should be about dead right now. This is a bad fight. Okay. Yeah, this was not a very good fight. But, oh well. I got pretty bad super luck, and I mismanaged my supers. So I lost a lot, a good chunk of time to that. Oh well. 
The fight in my MP any percent PV was very good, by the way. So I'm not really surprised I lost that much time, anyways. Only one power bomb. If we have, um, what did I say? Timing. Um, I got a power bomb drop, so it's not worth refilling anymore. I think if we ha if we have only one power bomb or zero, it's not it's worth not worth refilling. Oh, this is not the spot I want to use it on though. I just did that by instinct. Okay. Hopefully, I get another drop somewhere. If not, oh well. That was dumb, baby. Okay. No, the strat I did there is. It is a spider spark you want to do in any percent, but like if you're low on power bombs, that's not one of the spots you want to use it. I think that's the third best spot to use the power bomb, the spider spark on. So if I had three power bombs, then I would want to spark where I did just now, but. Oh well. Um, the best spot to use it is not here, unfortunately. This is the second best spot. But I used a power, I wasted a power bomb, so I lost. I'm losing a few seconds. Not here. What? Here. Okay. Dead. How is he not out yet? There we go. Good. Are terrible patterns. Uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna counter this. It wastes time to counter, unfortunately, but I was too low on I think I was too low on health to tank to hit. So that was a really bad fight, unfortunately. That that end game sucked, but oh well. That was a pretty bad end game. I took two I took more hits than I should have. You don't want to counter that because you want to tank tank his claw attack, which I think does 200 damage, and then just finish him off there, which is considerably faster than countering. But I didn't have enough health to do that. Oh well, it's a PB. Can't complain. It's a PB. There is some really good spots in the run, some pretty terrible spots in the run, but eh. That's how it is. It's not going to be perfect. I'll improve this. Sub 140 RTA is easily possible. Uh, but 
I do need to just actually double check if Spring Ball Skip is worth it or not. So if you see another stream for this game, it's gonna be 100% or 0%, not any percent, because I should not do any percent speedruns. That's why I finished timing Spring Ball, and I'm too lazy. So all right, let's see what the end game time is. My PB is 133.07 in game time, which you see at the top of the splits. This will probably be. I took way fewer expansions than usual. 131.47. That sounds about right. I think. That's one, 1 minute 20 seconds ahead, and I saved 1 minute 24 RTA, so. I think I got like one less expansion. One or two less expansions. Alright. That's that. Hold on. I wanna take a screenshot of this so I can tweet it out, but... There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna be cutting stream here, but... I'm glad I stuck through this run even after the atrocious area 2. Um, I'm gonna see what, what's gonna happen with Spring Ball Skip and see how whether that's actually worth it or not. Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find someone to host, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all around later.